Hey guys, good news for you. I was at the Paris World Championships last weekend, so I got a little bit of a feedback from my fans, which was really cool. Uh, so I think it, most of you will agree, my introduction video is not bad, but my conclusion part of the video is pretty useless considering I could well enough conclude uh, with the white background while playing with the puzzle. So now I'm only going to make intro videos. Also, about the World Championships, I wanted to tell you guys I felt amazing that th this weekend was just incredible. I got to meet Uwe Meffert, I got to see uh, Erno Rubik, I, I got to meet an amazing modder, a French modder who, who made some, an incredible design. I met uh, like a, a Hungarian a designer slash uh, entrepreneur who's uh, making egg puzzles that are amazing. I met an incredible artist. This weekend was absolutely fantastic. Plus I got to meet a few of the speed cubers. Uh, I actually saw uh, Felix and, uh, and Mats as well as uh, Max Park in the, in the metro. So that was, uh, that was pretty um, unexpected. So, so yeah, this weekend was absolutely incredible. I want to thank everyone who showed up. It was amazing to meet my fans. So thank you for coming. That was awesome. So now on to the main topic of this video. Uh, one last thing before uh, I, I go to the main topic. I just got 3,000 subscribers and 1,500 Facebook likes, so I will be making a giveaway. Just wait three weeks until I get back from holiday, because if I'm on holiday when I do the giveaway, I just can't pick a winner. It's just not going to be possible. So speaking of holiday, for the next three weeks, I'm going to be away. Uh, well, so next three weekends, so two weeks. I'm going to be away uh, throughout Europe. I don't even know where yet. We're going to improvise completely. Um, I'm going to make three videos, I'm going to prepare three videos for this weekend. The first one is going to be dedicated to solving the 2x2 two two cubes that Oliver and I made for the world, the Paris World Championship. The second video is going to be dedicated to solving those puzzle eggs I told you about because I bought three of them. And the last video is going to be dedicated to the cubes that I actually bought and managed to trade or collect at the Paris Open. And believe me, some of them are incredible. So here we go, let's start with the 2x2 two two solves. Alright, so let's start with the easiest. This would be the twisted 2x2. Two two. In my opinion, this one's going to be very easy because it's just not that big. Not, and it, it keeps a, a relatively identical shape uh, as it has in the beginning. So in the sense that it's not like a massive shapeshifter. You see, it's still manipulatable like a, like a cube. It's, it's not that far from a cube. There's just these curvy surfaces there. Um, now I think that one's not going to be hard, so I'm starting with this one. So let's see with the top face. Um, so that was already well positioned. I'm pretty bad at solving, but at least... Um, well, I don't, I don't even know if I'm going to be using the beginner's method. Let's give it a shot. You know what? Let's, let's use... Let's use an, an advanced beginner beginner's method, like some sort of cross between the beginner's method and some OLL, PLL stuff. Now, I don't even know why I used this uh, this puzzle. Uh, I could have used this one. It's it's the same twisted 2x2, two two, it's, except it's much cooler because the, the, the colors are flashier. Plus, there's something really nice on that one number zero zero so that was really the first one ever made just gonna solve that one real quick alright let's go so again it's it, it is a 3d printed puzzle so it's not the best turning puzzle that you can find obviously um, but it's it's still reasonable like it, it's not interrupting me in, in the middle of an algorithm it's still easy to solve um, it, it's alright so all right, let's move on to the next one. Uh, so this one, and I, I presented them all during the the Paris World Championships during the vlog. Uh, I showed them all on my uh, on my uh, channel. So if you didn't see the presentation video, uh, it wasn't very sophisticated. So everything that you're seeing now is basically the same as what you saw on the on the vlog. So let's see. With this one, I think it's going to be a little bit more confusing. For example, I thought that was going to go here. It is not going here at all. Um, Neither is it going there. Alright, so I got the first pair, and now I'm pretty sure it's going to get much easier because I just have to pair up that one here, and I'm going to have the last face to solve. Now this is much more confusing than the the original, um, well, 
than the original uh, two by two that I showed at the beginning of the video. The the sorry, the twisted two by two. I got lost there in my thoughts for a second. Um, I gotta be honest with you. I'm still feeling very very tired uh, from the Paris World Championships, and you're probably gonna feel it in this video. Uh, but hey, I, I just <laughs> I can't fake being uh, just <laughs> not tired. Basically, I can't even find my words. Um, all right, so let's just carry on. Oh well. That's all there was left to it. So it's a, it's a slightly confusing solve, albeit very interesting. So that's pretty nice. Plus, I like how it doesn't shapeshift when you do this, and how the cuts are lined up with the corners so you can do this, and it's still going to look like a, a regular shape somehow. Uh, it does get more confusing when you do this. So, all right, I'm going to put it back into its solved position and move on to the next one. Uh, that's another twisted 2x2, two two, so that's not the next one. I've got an Axis 2x2 two two here. We didn't really show it on the video, I think. Uh, that already existed, plus I made some fillets that were way too big. Uh, anyways, I'm still gonna solve it because, you know, it's, it's still fun. Uh, I made this one rather for personal use than for um, the Paris uh, Championship. Alright, so, I'm starting with this which means I need to find a red piece. I'm pretty sure that's the large one here. And I need to find the red green corner and that one goes here. And now I can solve the opposite face. So this is going to go right where it is. This one is in the right position as well. Let's see if I orient the corner to make it less confusing. Alright, so what's left? I, I've got this that's solved here, there, and all that's left is an orientation error, so I'm going to use the beginner's method to solve this. Yeah, I'm not very good at speed cubing, as I said earlier. Um, this is more of a passion for solving and stuff like that, for the the, the whole like thinking part. I'm not really into the speed part. Uh, there's this one. Now, this is the triple fisher 2x2 two two that I showed in day 4 video, I think maybe day three. Um, so it's like a, a cube that was fissured three times in three different directions. Actually, I think it was in direction one, direction two, and then back to direction one. So um, also, there's something that's... Okay, no, it's it's almost like a cube in the sense that it does shapeshift a bit. Uh, the, the axis isn't perfectly aligned between two corners. All right, so let's scramble that. All right, nice. Well, it's actually already scrambled. It, it's, it doesn't take long to scramble a, a 2x2. Two two. Alright, let's see. I'm not even sure how to solve it yet. Uh, so let's start with this part here. Seems like it's the easiest way to go. Plus, I've almost got the white face. I just need that little corner right there and it will be fine. I've, I'll, I'll get the first face. So right, the first face is complete. This is the top face. And now I'm gonna go and do the bottom. So this is in the wrong orientation. I'm going to try solving it with the uh, the orientation first. See if I can get some sort of like uh, some sort of F2L type of situation. Oh wow! Okay, with a with a PLL algorithm, well, an OLL algorithm, I I managed to finish it uh, and get a PLL skip, so that was nice. Okay, so this is the triple Fisher two by two. I've got the hex two by two, the TP two by two, I think. Um, now this is one of my favorites because of its uh, its appearance. You see the, the, the cross is here, I really like that. And there's clean hexagonal stickers on top. So that's pretty cool. And I think this one's going to be slightly more confusing than the rest because there's only one way to solve it and that's not by starting with a face per se. Uh, let, let me show you. So I've got this, which is paired up. Uh, I've got this one. And I need the rest of the red face, which is this part here. And what I meant to say, like, when I said uh, that I, you don't start by solving a face, is that you actually start by solving a, a sliced part. It's not like you're solving a hexagonal face or a square or a rectangular face. So, uh, fortunately, this solve is actually easy because I've, I've only got a corner orientation to do on the last layer, and I've only got two of those, so, so the solve is going to be finished in, like, three seconds. Two, one. All right. So a pretty easy solve. This one is definitely easier than the triple Fisher two by two. Um, then I have got okay. That one's 
pretty okay that one's slightly different let's keep let's carry on with that one uh, basically it's the same as this one except fissured 30 degrees which is a uh, half a uh, hexagonal turn and this one already exists I think it was called the hex box by uh, just and it was made by Justin so I just scrambled it without really looking at what it looked like at the, at the beginning so let's see um, I've got a part of a purple face here then I've got this uh, blue part here that I'm gonna try to insert right there and alright so I've got the first face which is this again just like on the hex uh, the TP2 by 2 it's a uh, it's um, well a sliced face so this goes here but it is in the wrong orientation. This isn't in the right orientation. Oh, actually, no, it's not in the right orientation. Let's see if I can do it by solving orientations first. So if I'm not mistaken, I've got... Okay, still not the right orientation. Now I've got it. And, yeah, uh, the only things that are left are maybe one corner permutation algorithm. That's using the beginner's method. And all that's left here is to orient the center, so I'm going to use the beginner's method again for that. Uh, this is this video is more for showing off the puzzles rather than solving them, but you know, solving is always a nice way to show off a puzzle. So I like that one. Uh, and congratulations, Justin, for figuring this out uh, eight years ago, because this mod is really cool. All right, now I've got another one. This one is nice, pretty big to handle. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Um, Alright, so uh, this is a triangular prism and I think it's gonna be slightly confusing. Also, I like the pattern that Oliver uh, sh used on this, the stickers. So you see, these stickers are all blue. They're all blue, no exception. And uh, and I think it's, it looks nice. It's like, um, like a, I don't know, like a, you know, varying colors. Uh, I don't know how you say this. It's like a gradient. Uh, I think that's how you say it. Um, and I think it looks really nice on a 2x2. Two two. So I've got a face here that's solved. Now this is confusing. This is even more confusing than on the on the sorry on the hex uh, prism because um, this is like slightly twisted as well so the face isn't symmetrical at all. Uh, luckily these two parts are solved as well and uh, unfortunately that one goes here so I'm gonna have to use a PLL algorithm that I know and using it here is slightly confusing and it worked perfectly no orientation needed after that so that's great very fun solve this one is the most confusing so far now I've got another triangular prism with a triangular face on one side and hexagonal face on the other and those crosses here so I like the face pattern and everything it looks very nice plus to solve it's it's um, I don't know I like the shape of the pieces it's just nice and uh, you may have noticed but Oliver also used um, similar stickers like a, a, gra a gradient of purple which happens to be one of my favorite colors so I am quite thrilled alright so let's see I'm gonna start by solving um, this color here, this uh, face, the... Um, oh, I can actually solve a full face right now. I'm gonna solve the sort of lighter uh, purple or dark pink face here. So this is what I got. Now I need to solve the rest. So if I'm not mistaken, this will fix the orientation of one piece, but I was wrong. Uh, okay, this is more confusing than the previous ones. Um, plus, there can be a parity error on that puzzle, I think. Um, more like a corner parity, not just an edge, you know, like a, sorry, more like an orientation parity, because this one doesn't have any specific orientation, and that is really cool. That is not something that I've had on the previous puzzles. So I've already got a, a corner swap parity, so I'm going to start by solving this. Alright, and as you can see, one corner is in the wrong orientation. That is exactly what I thought would happen. Um, I had one chance out of three of it not happening anyhow, so, so it was pretty probable that it would happen. 
and it is solved. Whoa. These things turn pretty well because of the, you know, the mini East Gene 2x2 in the middle. Now there's another one that was also invented by Justin a long time ago. That is surprisingly one of the least shape-shifting ones. Um, when you scramble it, the cuts line up perfectly, so it, it barely shapeshifts at all. Like it's 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 quite unusual for a puzzle, uh, and I'm pretty sure this one is also going to be very difficult to solve because two of the corners don't have orientations, uh, don't have specific orientations. So let's start solving this face here. Uh, that was wrong. All right, so I've got this solved. This first half. Uh, the second half is actually is it's actually the same parts but mirrored. So this whole half is the same as this one. All right, so let's put this in the right position. I've only got one corner swap to do. And corner orientation. Beginner's method is very easy when you're using shapeshifters. That's why I use it so much. And I've got the wrong orientation, so I've had this corner parity, I was talking about the same one as before. And the puzzle is almost solved. If it decides to stop locking up, perfect. And the puzzle is solved. A very nice little puzzle with some very simple cuts, very simple stickers. I really like that one. Now, I'm not sure I showed this one yet. Um, hmm. I did. I showed this one. But this one's the same, except there's uh, just a 120 degree, a skewed move, basically, on it. So it looks solved, but it's not. So this is like a ghost 2x2 two two mod. So I think I'm going to start with this. I'm going to try not to look at it first, because otherwise I will know which face is the ghosted one. I will, what I'm trying to do right now is have the hardest solve possible. So, let's see. I don't exactly, no, I, I just don't remember what part of the puzzle was ghosted, so that's good news. Um, let's see, uh, this is actually very confusing because, because of the ghosting, right? Um, it's not here because there's no, no white sticker that's this shape. So, so that is uh, that is more complicated than I thought it would be, and I definitely didn't think that would be the hardest one, but it seems like it's gonna be. Okay, I think I found the part that goes here, which means that this part would go here, and that the ghosted part of the puzzle is on this side, and that's what it looks like. So I found the ghosted face. Um, now I need to solve the other one. Uh, separately, so okay. So you see, I, I I know this part goes here because if I bring it here, this one is supposed to go there and behave like it's part of the white face, uh, even though when it's solved, it's supposed to be like this and not like that. So this part is correctly positioned. I'm going to change the orientation, That's that way it's already done. Uh, it'll be easier to comprehend later on. And I know I have to switch these two. Uh, I've got a corner parity. And the corners are well positioned. All I need is to change the orientation and that will be the end of it. And then I'll have one last, no, I, actually I have two last 2x2's two two to show you guys. So yeah, this one's solved. I only have two left. Uh, actually, you know, that, make that a three left. I've got this huge triangular prism. Now that one is completely insane. This one is huge. It's enormous. So let's scramble that. <laughs> I'm so tired due to the Paris World Championships. It's actually quite hard for me to make this video right now. Um, so I apologize if I sound tired or bored or anything. I'm not really, it's, it's very interesting, but I am just exhausted. Alright, so let's carry on. I've got this top face done, this whole part here. Let me zoom backwards a bit because it seems very confusing for you guys. This is huge. 
uh, alright, now this is in the right position, this one too. This one too, and this one as well. It's just in the wrong orientation, so I'm going to change that real quick. I think there's a slight mistake somewhere. Yep, see this? It is not solved, and neither is this. Um, I've actually got these two to switch. So I'm going to use a parity algorithm. Again, quite confusing. Um, and I'm kind of lost. See, that's the, the issue. It's quite difficult to solve. Huh. See, that's the part where it's confusing. I think this one is almost like the right contender for the the most confusing of the 2x2 two two mods. Uh, this one seems to be the most confusing of them all. Um, Alright. So I'm in the right position, wrong orientation. I, I may have screwed up my algorithm. That's that's probably one of the reasons why it seems difficult. But anyways, it's solved now, so that is fine. And now I'm going to move on to the one you all know, the Junior Mental Flop. Now, we printed a huge one for the Paris Open, and it spins wonderfully. I mean, if I hold it like this, you can actually turn it like that. Okay, let's let's stop turning it like that. This is just an East Gene 2x2 core, so obviously it's not as strong as another puzzle. Uh, and that was ridiculous. Alright, let's, let's solve this. So, this yellow part would go here, somewhere here. Let's see. I need to pair up the yellow-blue with another yellow-blue, which I can't find. It was right there. Alright. So, I've got these two parts paired up. Now this one's correct, I'm just going to bring that yellow-red one all the way here, that way I've got a face that is solved. Now, on the other side, I am going to bring this all the way there. And what's left is a an unsolved puzzle because, okay, I made a mistake somewhere, i got to find it. Uh, no, it was just in the right, in the wrong position. I do have a uh, parity, a corner parity with those two large corners. So I'm going to use this. Actually, no, I'm going to solve it with orientation. And now that they're in the right orientation here, I'm going to do the corner parity. And the two are in the wrong orientation now, so... Well, they were in the wrong position, sorry. And now they're in the wrong orientation, so a little, a few moves and the puzzle is solved. So this one is relatively easy, not very confusing. And I think this is going to be the most confusing one. I have to move back a bit. I can't move back anymore. So this is a mirror pyromorphix. So it's very, it has very similar parts. Like this one is almost the same shape, but there's a, a little wedge here, a, a small wedge. And this one, well, on that side there's a huge wedge. That's where the worst of the of the mirror aspect uh, comes into play. And uh, you can see it here as well. So let's scramble this up, see if we can solve it. Okay, obviously this one is a mirror pyramorphic, so it might be the hardest one of all to solve, especially with those uh, corners orientations. Um, all right, so let's see. Now here we have a part with a big gap here, which means there's a, a corner piece like this one that should go probably here. I think that's the right one. So let's start with this. Uh, it seems pr relatively correct. Um, I'm assuming that's, that is correct. Obviously this isn't, so I'm going to change the orientation of that corner. That seems to be fine, uh, except I just noticed something and that is that the corner here is not the right one because when you hold the puzzle tightly you notice there's a little wedge here so that's not the right corner um, so I think that this one 
is probably the right one. Nope, not in this orientation at least. Yeah, here, that's the right corner. And now I need to find the corner that goes here, so that's not the right one. Or maybe it's in the wrong orientation. Nope. Maybe that's the corner that goes here. Okay, very, very confusing. This is the right corner. Okay. Whew. Difficult. Okay, I've got the, the, the right corner here. So this part is solved, I think. This whole part. Uh, sorry, I think I may have gotten out of range for the camera. And if I did, I apologize. Um, Alright. This corner is solved. This is not, this isn't, and this isn't. Um, this is probably in the wrong orientation, and these two are in the wrong position, so I'm gonna use my algorithm. Alright, so, am I still almost solved? Yes. I think I may have um, made a mistake in my algorithms. Um, let's see. No, so there's only one corner left that's in the wrong orientation. This one is should be in that orientation, but I don't know which of the central corners is wrong. I think that's the one. So let's see if I turn this like that. The, the differences between the parts are very subtle. Um, I'm almost, I'm getting mixed up a bit, so I'm gonna do that again. Um, I think I made a mistake in my algorithm. So, well, not a mistake, but I, I got lost, so I'd rather just carry on. All right. Okay, I got it. So this is solved. This is very difficult. Uh, I thought it was going to be way easier, but it's not. So yeah, this is the the extent of the 2x2 two two mods I want to show you today. So there was the mirror one, the, the mental flop, there was the axis one, the twisted one, that sort of, uh, you know, uh, ghost Thomas cube, the triple fisher, the hex box, the other hex box, the, the TP 2x2, two two, the, well, all three of them. I have three now. Uh, there was that one here, that one here, the triangular prism. So yeah, basically we made a lot of 2x2s two and uh, I'm pretty happy to have them all in my collection. They're really fun. And um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this solving video and um, as always, feel free to subscribe, like my social networks. I've got Instagram now and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.